What's up guys, it's Poir bringing you my first real build for Wolong. This build destroys the game with a single skill use as we like to do on this channel. I've done a lot of testing with stuff and ultimately, after being disappointed with skill and spell damage in New Game Plus, aside for a couple spells, we are going to do what Team Ninja wants us to do, Fatal Strikes. So introducing Bulldozer, it is a spirit breaking build designed to plow through the entire game and destroy humans, the most annoying enemies in the game. They are the hardest enemies in the game since the big OP spells are useless against them, and they not only spam red attacks, not only come in groups of 2-3 to three in side missions, but their missions are also the best farming stages for gear for their set bonuses. So a build has to be able to kill them easily if you want to get a lot of gear to make other builds, and this is that build. And you can clap Yokai easily too, as you see in the back. All of the footage is on New Game Plus, as you see in the top right corner when I click the menu button. So, really liked how this turned out to be, and this is just the first form. It is confirmed that graces and a Yasakani-like effect do exist in New Game Plus, and only in New Game Plus, which is the post-game, if you're unaware. I'll explain that all in the guide later, but they are rare, so I don't have enough for the second form yet, so this version of the build is without them. But this first version will be buildable in New Game as a plus side, so you can aim for this if you're on your first playthrough still, and it'll take you through New Game Plus smoothly, where you can start farming for graces. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. If it gets 500 likes, I'll make that second version. Wink wink. Now, it's bulldozing time. We smashing. This entire build works solely because of one weapon. Gooding Gutting Blade. Or as I like to call it, Gouda Blade. Cause Gouda Cheese, and this is cheesy. Basically, it's a unique skill. Thunder's Impact is the best spirit breaking skill in the game. It rushes forward doing many hits, which not only can apply statuses really well, but with my setup, I can one to two shot human spirit bars with it. Light attack, bulldoze. Light attack, bulldoze. Fatal strike. Repeat. You repeat this for everything. Some bosses like Lubu or that electric spear guy, those cheaters, you can't do this trick against well as they have hyper armor, but for the most part, everything else crumbles to this. And you can get this blade from maxing the bond of Sun Jian as a reinforcement, or farm this side mission like father, like son. Unfortunately, the blade scales with fire and metal best, so we do lose some damage as we're not going metal, so invest heavily into fire to boost his damage. 150 is supposedly the level cap by the way, so you will not be able to max metal and fire out with all the other stats, as we need other elements. Before the weapon stats, you want spirit vulnerability, fire attack power, and your choice between imbue lightning, earth, or a damage stat like damage against an enemy with an affliction, normal damage stat, or just more spirit damage. By having earth enchant though, I can apply both earth and lightning statuses, not at the same time because they don't stack, but one after the other, and both will increase spirit damage buildup on the enemy, though you do lose a bit of damage because you can only have one red stat. And for everything else, I'm using the Strategist of Genius set. You can get the full set from this guy at Bond level 10. He should be available around chapter 5 or 6, but his set bonus is amazing. One of the best, I think, giving you a whopping 12% damage increase, ailment accumulation, and two rare effects. Most importantly, power drop. I wore this armor in New Game Plus at plus 9, full set, and the monkey in chapter 2 one-shots me. So, light armor in New Game Plus is trash. Do not go light armor. As in comparison, with around 600 defense with green agility with just plus 8 armor, I survived way better. So, why am I using this set? Well, it's because of the power drop effect. We apply negative effects constantly, so the power drop reduces the enemy damage, which makes us able to live attacks. But once we get graces in New Game Plus, we will be going a full, probably C tier mega tank build. It's just way better, and I haven't noticed much, if any, difference in deflects, despite A agility supposedly making light armor better for them. So yeah, unless there's data about that with actual frame data, uh, I don't think A agility is worth squat. But for the armor stats, copy what you see here. Flame attack on everything, so our fire attacks can do good damage against Yokai. And then a mix of spirit and melee damage, and divine spirit gain percents, which I'll talk about that later. And yeah, upgrade all these pieces to plus 9 ASAP. And a second weapon, the staff is whatever, I don't even use it, doesn't scale with our stats, so damage will be met. 
and the skill itself doesn't seem too crazy. Accessories. If you're not aware, you can do my reroll method to get good 5 star accessories, but you're mainly looking for the cube for the set bonus, and then stats will be damage or spirit damage with fire or flame attack and preferably a purple rare stat or two. Shock or fire accumulation is nice, and wizardry spell consumption reduction is good too. Stats. Here's the spread. We'll see if 150 is the limit. That's what I've been told, but bare minimum, I think 30 wood, 8 earth, and 10 to 20 metal is going to be mandatory, purely for the spell spirit reduction, but a little extra damage for the sword is nice too. And then the rest will go into fire all the way to 99. And them's the stats. For guardian spirit, we use snake. It's the best spirit. I'm going to probably use it for every build. All the other ones kind of suck. And this gives us super poison with triple debuffs, making metal kind of irrelevant of a stat, especially with the spell we're going to talk about in a bit. But that is the core build, and now we'll get into spells, which takes this build over the edge. First off, Engulfing Inferno. Most elements have their big damage spell, most of them are comparable in damage, and this is it for fire. It's quick to cast, but it is short range, but this is good to use on a down enemy before and after a fatal strike. You'll break your spirit, Inferno Inferno, Fatal Strike before the little bar goes away, then Inferno some more before you start using Thunderous Impact again. Next, Inner Breath. This thing is crazy, giving you super spirit charge, especially with the stat effects that I told you to stack earlier on the armor. Letting you have good uptime on the snake, even in smaller boss missions. You can sub this out for the Rock Parry Quake Bound if you want, which builds up heaviness status every time you parry, which is good if you don't plan to use the Rock Enchant. And yeah, that's a very good alternative. Next up, we got Lightning Weapon. Wood spells suck at applying lightning, but with this, we get easy access to the best status, Shock, which builds up enemy spirit automatically. You don't even have to hit them after you apply it, so it's mega strong. But the imbued weapon lasts like 5 seconds, so it's also trash. <laughs> it's only used as an opener to get the ball rolling. And finally, the God Spell. The best spell. Perfect Restoral. This is a guaranteed block to any hit including red attacks and can be cast anytime over and over so it's like quick change scroll on crack from neo one weakness when spamming good sword skill thunderous impact is human enemies could cancel their block stun and use a red attack at any moment resulting in one shotting or two shotting you but this spell nearly completely negates that so you buff up with the spell spam your bulldoze and the shield soaks up any red attack that comes at you after a fatal strike, you want to rebuff again, and now you become practically immortal if you repeat this cycle over and over, because all the human bosses can do is block or do a red attack, which you negate with the skill, so it's a must have. It lets you spam freely without worrying too much about getting hit. And this blows the earth shield spell out the water, by the way, in case you're wondering. So yeah, that is the bulldozer. In the back, you'll see my full rotation against the New Game Plus guy. Try to incorporate that rotation for your fights as well. Now, the sword is not that strong damage-wise, so Fatal Strike damage is a little low, Normal Attack is a little low, but with the continuous Fatal Strikes, you will have a safer way of dealing with most enemies than other builds can. And if you think the damage looks low, this is how the fight is on New Game, in case you're wondering what's the difference. You can see the big gap in damage reduction and HP the bosses have in New Game compared to New Game Plus. But yeah, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you want to see more. And comment down below your thoughts on the build and potential improvements or maybe what kind of build you guys want to see next. Let me know. Team Ninja, please don't nerf the sword, please. That's all. Uh, yeah, and if you want more builds and guides and awesomeness, then make sure to subscribe for more. Whoa, long Epicness.